Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Reese here from C Manga, and welcome to my review of Fairy Child Chapter 343 Treasure Hunter. So, this is the final one of the triple threat this week, and you know what? It was actually a really, really good chapter. Um, all of them hasn't been actually that bad, you know? They've actually been quite interesting, learning new things. So, anyway, here we go, straight off to the land of, Fl to the land of the flames. I can't remember what the hell they. Yeah, you know, the place basically where they're going. And what the hell? It's full of giants. You know, that's right, I said, that is right. The village is basically giant, so everyone in there is pretty much a giant, even the pets. It's like they ran into like giant dogs or something. But anyway, everyone is basically just completely frozen solid. Um, Nazi's flame couldn't really do shit to it. Neither could Grey, uh, you know, he sensed, he basically touched the ice and like, he did actually say it felt kind of familiar, the magic that was used. Um, so I'm guessing it's pretty much kind of like similar to what his master all basically used to kind of like um, seal that Deloria guy, that big giant thing, so. I don't know. I'm not really. I don't really think this this is actually true, but it could be something like when she did that ice thing, it affected like everything on a much larger scale. So, you know, her magic basically did that, froze everything. But I doubt that because this sounds like it's kind of a more recent thing. But anyway, um, we're quickly introduced to basically a guild of treasure hunters. They're there basically to um, steal the eternal flame. These guys, I'm not really too sure what to think of them. You know, they don't really seem like they have that much magical ability whatsoever unless it's kind of like the kind of like location location locator type magic type thing so they can use it to you know locate where things are helps them be treasure hunters kind of thing but anyway they did actually seem really really confident that fairy tale won't get in their way um this could either be because they don't know they're wizards or maybe they have some sort of thing which enables them to count to like fight against wizards maybe they found some sort of magic weapons that came over from um, Edelus or something but anyway guess we'll basically find out once things unfold um, so anyway how the hell are they gonna actually unfreeze this flame well they have a liquefied version of Moondrip if you remember Moondrip was the magic that Leon used to free Deloria back way back when to kind of like fight him and say that I'm the true successor so yeah that basically gives fairy tale their little solution of how to actually fix the fact that everyone is frozen but the thing which I'm wondering is how the hell are they going to use that small amount which basically looks like what that much to free everyone maybe they will use it on the flame or something and then the flame will melt some will melt all the ice because you know it is a special type of flame so that could be what's going to happen but anyway final this reveal this chapter um, you know no arc is complete without some antagonists and this arc it has the dark guild succubus eye well, to be exact, there's like two members of it there at the moment. Um, they're basically like flying overhead. The first guy, I don't know what to make of him as well either. You know, he seems really, really strong and confident. Um, he has like this weird bandana on his face with a mouth, which is kind of a bit fro like frozen off a little with like what his face looks like. <laughs> but anyway, he did actually say something really, really weird. It's just he said um, things on the surface don't really concern him. So it makes me think like. Is there guild a giant flying fortress or something? You know, what is going on there? What does that actually mean? You know, is he just thinking that, oh yeah, everyone on the ground is beneath me? I don't know. You know, just silly little, thing, little things like that, you know. It's kind of like brings up something like what is actually going on with him. But anyway, the big reveal is basically the second person. A familiar face returns in the form of ex-Sabertooth member Minerva. That is right, the bitch is back. You know, and not surprising that she affiliated herself with a dark guild. You know, um, she never really did seem like, you know, she made Saber Two seem like they're just evil, even though they're not really. They're just kind of being led down a dark path. So yeah, her and her father are now part of um, God Succubus Eye. Did I say? <laughs> yeah, they're basically part of Succubus Eye. So they're there to now exact their revenge against Fairy Tail. So yeah, like I said, I'm actually quite surprised that Minerva's back to be honest. Um, I think that's kind of like the fastest turnaround of a character we've seen so far. Um, Cause like, she was, she did only just leave Sabretooth last arc. And now she's being pulled back in again as an antagonist for this arc. So it's kind of a bit, it's a bit strange, you know? I think like every other character, they've at least had like an arc in between to kind of just smooth things out. And then you can see, oh yeah, that's what they've been doing this whole time. It's like. Leon, at first he was kind of like an enemy, then he comes back and he's part of, oh crap, <laughs> Lumnia Scale, yeah, he comes back part of that and then that's when he's reintroduced and everything, so it's a bit strange, you know, just how quickly she comes back, but anyway, this arc 
it actually does seem to be getting a lot interesting now i'm kind of wondering how it'll progress um i'm thinking that obviously you know more succubus members have to come because you know two two on like what five even though Minerva's strong, she did get defeated by Urza before, so, you know, what's going to stop her from getting defeated again? I think the big kind of problem is going to be this new guy, because we know nothing really about him. So, yeah, I'm wondering whether, like, some more members are going to come along. And then you have the whole Treasure Hunters. You know, I'm wondering whether they're actually going to kind of, like, join forces with Fairy Tales to help fight Succubus Eye, and then they're going to have another kind of like, little, little fight at the end to kind of, like, free them. Um, or if they're going like, to give up the flame completely, you know? It's just there's a lot to you know there's a lot to happen you know this chapter did actually show off a lot so yeah i'm actually really looking forward to the next chapter and thank you know too bad it's actually back down to one a week now because these kind of three chapters they have actually progressed the story a hell of a lot more than it would have been you know it would have been what six weeks to get to this point it's only been two so that's a good thing so anyway um if i was to drop a rating on this chapter I think I'm gonna go over nine out of ten, you know, because it actually was pretty good with all the reveals and everything. Um, sure, there was a few down moments, and that's probably why I would take a mark off. But yeah, decent chapter, you know. So help, heck, what do you guys think of this chapter? You know, did you enjoy it as well? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the series, and don't forget to check out our channel for more content. So I'll catch you soon.